Started the Big Ten tournament with a huge win, eliminating the Wisconsin Badgers. Standing in their way today, Chris Murray and the Iowa Hawkeyes, who are hoping to prevent another Ohio State surprise. It's March and every school's pageantry is on full display. All the focus on the now, this game, this play. The stakes have been raised higher, there isn't a stage brighter. Chances like these rarely ever come around to wear that coveted crown as soon as the final buzzer sounds. Reaching the destination of the journey is well worthy of the grind. Before the stars can shine, they must first align. Greatness personified. Here's where it's surely defined. Buckle up. It's Big Ten Tournament time. Back in the United Center, game two of our four-game day at the Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament presented by TIAA. And game two featuring the Ohio State Buckeyes, the 13th seed, taking on the fifth seeded Iowa Hawkeyes. Our first game of the day saw a typical Rutgers performance, timely offense, stifling defense, and the Scarlet Knights eliminated the Michigan Wolverines. Rutgers Purdue tomorrow. Later today, Penn State, Illinois. Later tonight, Minnesota, Maryland. But right now, the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hi, good everybody. Alongside my partner, Stephen Bardo, I'm Kevin Kugler. This is an Iowa team that really epitomizes what the Big Ten has been like this year, up and down in a battle every single night. Yes, and they're offensively explosive, Kevin, and they are 7-3 and three against the top half of the Big Ten this season. So they're very capable, but they've had their struggles like every other team in this conference. Well, they certainly have in the first three games, 0-3, the next 4-4-0, oh, the last 13, 7-6. It's been like that throughout the year. But, of course, for Ohio State, they held on yesterday in their game against Wisconsin, and they've been really good this year, Stephen, against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah, and I tell you what, they've got some guys can put the ball in the hole as well. Bryce Simpson ball, Sean McNeil were outstanding. Bruce Thornton starting to come on, and Chris Holtman, despite that long losing streak, really got his team playing their best right now. Yeah, they have playing excellent basketball these last couple of weeks, and when you look at what this team was able to do against Wisconsin, they got a lot of folks involved, got things going, and then were able to hang on at the end. Yeah, and they've got the youth that, they've got the youthful experience, and so they don't know what they don't know, and they're playing outstanding at the right time of the season.